Well, good evening, everyone. We are going to start. Okay, I have this uh, whiteboard. Let me see if I have students to participate or if I have only listeners. Let me check. Well, the ones who can participate. Okay, I would like you to write down, for example, in this whiteboard. I want to write down the irregular verbs in past. Irregular verbs in past. Now, can you listen to me better? Now, can you listen to me better? Ah, uh, por aquí está lloviendo, teacher. Casi no le escucho yo. Y si se le escucha un poquito entrecortado también. O no sé si es porque está lloviendo aquí. Está lloviendo allá y está lloviendo aquí también. Ok. <laughs> Así que son las dos cosas. Ok. Ok, good. Osvaldo, he is writing about irregular past verbs, irregular past verbs. I have sent eight became. Okay, no more verbs, no more verbs. I don't see more. I see only the ones that Osvaldo wrote. Okay, Osvaldo, thank you. Sent A became both felt gay pad. So I think that, <clears throat> sorry, only Osvaldo can write, right? The other ones can't. ¿Cómo escribo? No me aparece la opción. Por ahí veo que anda Mateo, right? Ah, pero no puedo escribir. <laughs> ok, As, eh, a su izquierda aparece una toolbar.
A la izquierda aparece una toolbar y ahí ustedes agarran la cajita de texto. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to use, I'm going to take your, your verbs, Osvaldo. I'm going to copy, right? Because the other ones cannot participate. I'm going to stop sharing the, the whiteboard. And then we are going to go to the chat box. I have here in the chat box, I have sent you, I have shared the verbs, the irregular verbs that um, Osvaldo wrote. So we have, for example, two, four, six, seven verbs, irregular verbs. What are we going to do with these irregular verbs? We have to play with the um, affirmative and negative uh, way in past tense. For example, for example, in the first one that is sent, with sent, what is, what could be the, a negative, a negative statement using the verb sent? What could be the negative for the verb sent? That is in past, but if I want to write down an affirmative, a negative, okay, I didn't send this email. I didn't send this email. Okay, good. And what about if I want to use in negative way the verb had? There is in past, had. Good evening. Any of them, uh, Elsie, uh, good evening, uh, Berta. Any, it is a in past tense. I want a sentence in past tense. One sentence. A sentence. I didn't have a test yesterday. Okay, what we are practicing in this moment is that <clears throat> when we have the verb in past, you have the verb had in past. But if you are going to write down a negative statement, you are not going to write down the, the verb in past because you're going to use the auxiliary did, right? That is why we are going to have the base form of the verb. We are not going to conjugate it as we did in the affirmative statements. So to make just like the general uh, review about this, I have, uh, let me see, some exercises, very simple exercises. They are not difficult. I'm going to, share with you and I would like you to complete these exercises. These are a mix of affirmative statements and negative statements. Okay, you can click on the link and work on the exercises.
Okay, Osvaldo, you got the 100%. Okay, yes, I'm reading it in this moment. So you got the 100% to LC. Okay. Okay, guys, so we are going to continue. So since we have already uh, checked the, the previous knowledge is about yesterday, now we are going to continue. And uh, we have, uh, for example, 
we continue. The whole week we are going to be working with the simple past tense. But now, we are going to study the one question. We have, we usually use two different kinds of questions. Now we are going to work only with one of them. We are going to focus our uh, um, learning in today's class on the yes, no questions. Yes, no questions are the questions that are going to have only two different kinds of answers. That is the only thing that we are going to have. We continue with the simple past tense and then it says, what are we going to do? Questions, what kind of questions? Yes, no questions. With this one, uh, kind of questions, we, are, um, we can compare the structures that we had in the simple present tense. For example, I have here the simple present tense in affirmative, then I say, they live in Spain. In past, I say, they lived in Spain. The same is going to happen in the, the equations. In the present tense, I used the auxiliary do, because that is the auxiliary that we use for the simple present. <clears throat> but what about for the simple past? As in the negative statements, for the yes, no equations, we are going to use the auxiliary did. And the rest of the question is going to have basically the same structure as we use in simple present. We have here that structure. For the yes, no question, we are going to start with the auxiliary that is did. Did for all the subjects. We are not going to separate as we do when we say uh, um, simple present, but in the simple past, we don't need to separate, we don't need to divide the subjects. All of them are going to use the same auxiliary. As did. you could see yesterday, that it is the auxiliary did. So I said, did I, did you, did we, did they, did he, did she, did it. And after that, we have the verb, auxiliary, subject, and verb. What verb? Cualquier verbo, excepto? Irregular verb. No. Cualquier verbo, irregular verb, regular verb, except un verbo no lo acepta aquí. Aquí no va a poder estar un verbo, uno solo. ¿Cuál? Live. No. I can say, hey, did you live in Spain last year? Yes, I did. Don't you remember in the affirmative statement cuando hablamos? de las dos partes, las dos branches, the simple past tense, and that they cannot be mixed. The verb to be. The verb to be. The verb to be cannot be here. So I will never have here, did you to be? Or did you are? Never, never. Because the to be, it is not accepted here. With the auxiliary did, no se puede incluir the verb to be. Only el resto de los verbos, cualquiera que se le ocurre. But 
not a verb to be, right? So I have my first question and then I say, hey, did you speak English yesterday? Did you speak English yesterday night? Yes, yeah. I did or no, I didn't. We are going to see the kind of answers that we are going to have. Then I make the same comparison, but I only added the equation. In the equation, we are going to start our equations always with the auxiliary did. After that, we are going to use the verb. And of course, the complement has to be something coherent to the previous information that I have, right? So, right. how am I going to answer the equations? Like this. These are my two options that I have for answering the yes, no equations. I can say yes, or I can say no. Yes or no. Okay, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Yes, she did, or no, she didn't. Yes, he did, or no, he didn't. Only two options, yes or not. But of course I can give more information when I say, yes, I did, and then I give extra information, or no, I didn't, and then I give extra information. It is possible. But if we want just to say these two options, that is okay. The most important aspect here is you to give information, right? Someone needs the information. Someone needs a yes or I know, answer. Now let's see. Always or uh, only yes, I, yes, no question. For yes, no questions. For yes, no question, this is the way that we are going to answer. Only for yes, only no question. Yes. Okay. Now, What about with, uh, this is uh, related to the auxiliary, when we use the auxiliary did, but what about when I want to use the verb to be? Is that possible if I want to use it? The verb to be? Yes, it is possible. But the only thing is that I need to change the verb. I, I, I cannot use with the previous examples. No puedo incluir el to be, right? ¿Por qué? Right. Porque to be tiene su propia estructura. Y dice, yo solito puedo con toda la estructura. And in this case, it is a yes, no question. ¿Cómo vamos a hacerlo? No quiere salir. Give me a second. Okay. Now I see here. I have the question. And then, what is the difference with the previous information? ¿Con qué comenzaba las preguntas anteriores? Con did. Con did. ¿Por qué? Porque yo podía incluir 
cualquier verbo. Did you work? Did you study? Did she uh, go? Did he buy? Cualquier verbo que se me ocurra. But in this case, if I want to use the verb to be, I cannot use the auxiliary did. Acuérdense que no podemos mezclar. ¿Por qué? Porque el to be trabaja solito. For the simple past tense. En el simple past tense, o oh, el to be es el egoísta que no quiere trabajar con el resto, o el resto excluye al to be. ¿Cómo lo vamos a ver? I don't know. The only thing is that they cannot be together. They cannot. Entonces dicen los demás verbos. Ok, let's make some yes no questions. And they uh, use the auxiliary did. Y dice el to be. Well, I cannot use the auxiliary did, ok, because I don't want to work with you. So I have my own structure for the yes no questions. And the yes no questions are going to start with was or where. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we are going to conjugate this. Is was I, it? with she, and who was it? Were we, were you, were they? For the question. For example, was she at school yesterday? Yes, she was. Yes, no, she was. No, she, she wasn't. wasn't. Or, were you at school yesterday? Yes, I was. Or, no, I wasn't. Tenemos el mismo tipo de pregunta en donde la respuesta va cargada a decir yes o no. Pero cada uno de ellos respeta su estructura. With to be, I am going to say yes, pero después del yes, voy a decir yes, I was. Pero si estoy trabajando con el otro grupo de verbos, I'm going to say yes, I did. I did. Right? So I need to respect the rules. Y si el to be dice, I want to work alone, pues lo dejamos solito. Y no le metemos ningún otro verbo. ¿Ok? Y el otro grupo dice, ok, que trabaje solito, pues, que no se venga a meter acá. So we need to respect both of them. And then, I have here the same questions, but now I have included the answers. The two options of the answers. So I can say, Was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. Or, no, he wasn't. Either answer are correct. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Or, I changed the subject. Why did I change the, in the first one? Included I, and in the second one, I say we. Because I want you to understand one thing. This you can work in two different ways. That you can be uh, addressed to you as one person directly to you. For example, hey, were you at home yesterday? But I am talking to you directly. And then your answer is, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I was. But also, this you can be collective. And then I can ask you in this moment. Hey, hey guys. Were you at home yesterday? And one of you mm -hmm. me va a decir, no. We are. weren't. We weren't. Because you can be singular or it can be plural. Yes, this is singular and this is plural. No, we weren't. 
Yes, I was. That is singular. In the answer, I am going to know si este you es singular or if it is plural. En la respuesta me voy a dar cuenta. Because in the equation, I cannot identify if it is singular or plural. I just said, hey, were you home yesterday? It can be singular or it can be plural. But just with the question, I don't know. With the answer, I am going to know if that you is singular or if it is plural. And this is what we have. We have the auxiliary, the auxiliary, the verb in this case, the subject, and mainly, mainly, uh, when we use the verb to be, we use many adjectives. For example, as in this question, we can say, was she hungry? Or was she angry? Was she worried? Was she happy? Was she sad? Or even I can use occupations. I sure. can. Yes. What is the correct? Angry or hungry? Both are different. Okay. Both are okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hungry. I, okay. Was she hungry? <laughs> yes, she was. Okay. Hungry. Angry. It's different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have hungry and angry. And there is um in an informal way, informal way, we have this term hungry. This is something informal, but it is a combination of both angry and hungry. Uh, okay. But Enojado this, porque tiene hambre. Uh, that's <laughs> it. So you can say, hey, I am hungry, but like that. But that is very informal, right? But it it we can have that. Okay, as you can see now, I am using uh adjectives. And I was telling you, but also I can use, instead of having an adjective as a complement, I can include professions. For example, was he, was he, I'm going to type it better. Was he a doctor? Yes, he was. No, he, he wasn't. wasn't. But if you pay attention, the complement, if it is an adjective or if it is a profession, hay una diferencia entre los dos. What is that? Are you not little, little difference? That letter A, si es un adjetivo, no lo lleva. Okay, so I can say, was she happy? Was he angry? Was he uh, sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. But if I am going to use a profession, no voy a decir. Was he doctor? Was he nurse? Was he secretary? Was he teacher? 
I cannot say that. Ahí sí tengo que acompañar if it is a profession with a letter A. And then I'm saying, was he a doctor? Was she a nurse? Okay, was she a teacher? Ah, ah, ah. But if it is a profession. If it is an adjective, esa A no la lleva. Okay? And, of course, we have the other part in which it is not singular, but we have the plural form in which we use where. Where we, where you, where they. I, uh, we need to understand that this you can be singular or plural, right? And of course, the complement of this. And the answers, of course, we are going to have is, again, the two options. We can say yes, it depends on the subject. It is depends on the subject that you're going to say, yes, we were, or no, we weren't, right? Or I can say, yes, they were, or no, they weren't. It depends on the subject. This is just to tell you how to work the simple past tense, the two branches at the same time. The two branches. No podemos hablar del simple past tense solamente del uso del did. Siempre tenemos que hablar. Also, we need to include the verb to be. Sabiendo que el solito trabaja todas las estructuras, right? But in a combination, both, tanto the to be with the other verbs, we need to understand that both as a whole, they represent the simple past tense. Porque simple past tense no solamente va a ser el was or were or did. Both of them. And now we have this, this basic, basic letter evaluation. Is it was or is it where? Let us see. Was or where? 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 Excuse me. What? Was. Okay. I I didn't I didn't mark, okay? So they where where? 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 Ahí está. I don't know what happened. Pero no quería. Okay. Was. Was. Right. Okay. Where? Where? That's it. Was. Where? Where? Was. 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 Where? Where? Was. Was. Where? Where? Was. Was. Where? 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 Was. 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 Okay. How can I make questions with this? Can I? For example, from this sentence, it was called yesterday. Can I convert this sentence into a question? A yes, no question? Yes. 
Yes. What is that? Was it called yesterday? In question mark, was it called yesterday? And the answer can be? Yes. Yes, it was. Aha, uh -huh. or no? It, it was. Wasn't. Okay. What about this one? Was it sunny? Yes. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Were we in our science okay. lesson? Okay. You see, it is simple. We just need to move to the very, very first place, the verb to be. Were they on the moon? Was she out in the rain? Were they disguised? 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 Disguised. Disguised. Is it disfrazado? Yes. This guy. Was he alone? Kid. Were we with Moon? Were you at your grandparents' house? Was, Was he, he in the, the toilet? Were we in the park? Was Susan in the library? Were they on the beach? Was I in my garden? Okay. Was I? Was I in my garden? Can it be used? Yes, if it, it sounds like you are reflecting about yourself, right? And then, was that in my garden? Okay, that is a reflection. Were they in the cinema? The cinema, okay. Okay, now that we have practiced this and that you know to use them, let's see. So we go to... We are going to practice, even though they are no questions, but we have affirmative or negative with was or weren't. Okay? Let us practice okay. now with that. And the chat box. And the chat box. What about the others? Baje, 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 baje. Verdad. You click on it and then you start. Ah, yeah, yeah. Lo encontré. Okay, scroll it down. Okay, good. No veo lo que pero bueno.
No tiene para comprobarlo, teacher, o sí. Yes. ¿Dónde? No lo encuentro. Abajo tiene, son los dos párrafos o solo el primero. Los dos. And then dice finish. Ok. Okay, Osvaldo, you have already finished. I sent on WhatsApp, teacher. Yes, I did it. I checked. No sé qué se me hizo. Ay, aquí está. Le doy captura o cómo. Yes. Yeah, I still have me. Okay. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Todos los rojitos son errores. Todos los rojos son errores. Okay. Ah, es que tiene error de spelling. Es que sale muy chiquitita ah, la no, letra. No, no, lo que pasa es que se lo... Que sale muy chiquito, bueno, no miro. Yo le dije que era spelling. Ah, pero, pero es que no, le dije que es... bien. Le, en que siempre se cambia esto. Ajá. Eres en pero español. Pero me lo voy a traducir. Por eso sí, igual me salió, me salió una mala también porque puse guau wow por poner guau. <risa> <risa> Ay, ya, se lo, ya se lo pasé a inglés, pero ya no me sale el revisar. Ya, yes. no, se lo desapareció. Sí. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you have to be careful at the moment that you are going to work with them. Before, before starting the exercises, you have to check that it has to be in English, right? Es que ese teléfono siempre me lo cambia. That's why I said you have to be no very careful. Okay, let's see Matthew's exercises. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, guys, you continue posting there in the chat. Now we are going to the book. In in our page thirty-three, we have this exercise. It says read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experiences with two different companies. We have the two experiences. And uh, also, we have some questions. What we have to do in this moment is, for example, with the first paragraph related to Mrs. Mendoza, we have 
we are going to do the opposite. For example, if I say, if I had a problem with the payroll system, lo voy a hacer lo contrario. ¿Cómo sería? I, I didn't have uh -huh. a problem with the payroll system. Okay, and luego dice, but a technician came to help with help me with it. Pero y si didn't, lo pongo en negative? Didn't come to help me with it. Okay, and then he solved it. In the opposite. He, he didn't solve, solve it. Solve it. Okay, he didn't solve it. But he, the opposite. But he say so. He said anything. Say. Okay, he it's said something. He said, okay, good, because the opposite for anything, it is something. He said something, right? And then we continue. We continue writing the opposite, the opposite, and the same with Mr. Torres, right? Okay? Try to work it there in your, in your book or in your notebook, right? Okay. And then you are going to read the whole paragraph totally in the opposite. I don't have a problem the first. When, when you finish the complete, you're going to read it. In past.
teacher los dos o solo uno? Both. Both. Have you finished? Not yet? No.
sorry, I was talking with my microphone off on. Okay, Elsie, uh, I can see the your uh, picture. Now, can you read please the second paragraph? The second. The second. Uh, I am making okay. Put the either even neither neither. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let us try. Mr. Torres, I didn't have a problem with the course engine, so I didn't call for my assistance. The mechanic wasn't kind. He wasn't there really fast, and he wasn't quick to fix my course problem neither. He didn't give me the details about the incident and he didn't give me a report of it. Then I didn't start the engine and everything wasn't perfect. Very good, very good. Only two, uh, let me help you with uh, two words. Engine, with the car's engine, engine and also the mechanic, mechanic. mechanic. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, Elsie. And uh, let's see, I have Berta's result also. And what about the others? Have you finished? Okay, let's see. Can I ask um, Osvaldo? Can you read it? The first one, complete. Is Osvaldo here? No, he's not. Let me see. Teacher assistance. Don't take the, the attendance. Yes. And I've got my clock alarm and, and I just forgot. Okay, thank you. I'm going to do it. Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing because I want to see you. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez. Aldana, José Adilson Vázquez García, José Remberto Calderón, yes, here, teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz, present, Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández, present, Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes, present, teacher. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present, teacher. Mate, no, Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. We have finished the first one. Okay, guys, now that we have been working with uh, the paragraphs, the positives and negatives, negatives and positives, now we are going to work with equations. From taken from this two paragraph, for example, we have these two equations. These two equations are, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Yes, he has. Yes, she? 
Ah, she. Yes, yeah, she. And the auxiliary? Which is the auxiliary? Did. Yeah, she yes, did. did. Yes, yeah, she did. And if the question were negative? Uh, yes. Oh, no, she no, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Did, <laughs> did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? And uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Or yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay, I'm just giving you like maybe we can have the two options for answers. Now, what are you going to do? You have the information. I want you to get at least, at least from the different sentences that you have, I would like you to have three equations for Mrs. Mendoza and three equations for Mr. Torres. But now you're going to do it with your classmates. Three, three. Three equations with the information that you have from there, okay? We're going to work Berta, Berta, Elsie, and let me see. You too. And then I let me see know. if I have another one. Let me see. Kenya? Kenya, Stephanie? Present too. Uh, can you work, or you are a, a listener only? Eh, yo estoy aquí en la casa, pero estoy un poquito enferma. Okay. So Matthew. Matthew. Perdón, teacher, se me está yendo constantemente la señal. Okay. Es leer. No. You are going to get to write questions from the information that you have. Okay? Well, I'm going to send you to work with Berta and Elsie, but I need to open the, the rooms first, okay? Teacher, la, 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 lo que nosotros cambiamos o, o lo, cómo está? De cómo está. Ok. Ok. Ay, me desapareció la cosita, Farid. ¿No le tomaron captura? No, no. Ah, no, la opción para irnos. Ok, ya está, ya casi. A ver. Teacher me devolvió. Ok, voy a intentar cambiarla de equipo y después la vuelvo a enviar al mismo, ok? 
Bueno. Vamos a hacer las yes, yes no, ¿verdad? Entonces podríamos Ajá, poner. Para yes, no. Entonces eh... poner, por eso podemos poner, did he did, no. Did, did he, he call for assistance? Ajá. Did, did he Mr. Mendoza? Mrs. Um, did Mrs. Mendoza, uh -huh. call for oh, assistance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta es yes, she did. Vea, yes, she did. Sí. Vea, está una. Faltan dos. Este animalito que no se queda quieto. Quédate donde eh, tengo. Podría ser. Eh, the, the technician solve okay. the problem. The solve. Solve. The, the technician. Sol. Sol. S-O-L-V-E. Ah, de solventar. Ajá. This problem. De. De problem. Lo siento, me volví a caer. Okay. <ríe> okay. Bueno, hicieron, perdón. Sería... La primera hicimos... Did Mrs. Mendoza call for assistance? Yes, she okay, did. Okay. Y ahorita estamos con Did the technician solve the problem? Problem. Y la respuesta es yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Lo pensé? Okay. Vaya, y ahora hagamos uno en negativo. Entonces sería... Eh... Las preguntas no van en negativo. Ah, bueno, contestar negativo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces okay, podríamos okay. decir como el, el técnico le dio información acerca el del reporte, problema. Ajá. El reporte, la copia del reporte. Pero eso sí se lo dio. Entonces tenemos que decir que eh, o le explicó cuál era el problema le podemos poner este, que si él arregló se tardó en arreglar algo así 
Porque dice que arregló rápido. No, no, aquí, en este no dice que lo arregló rápido. Mm. Ah, mejor preguntemos que si llegó temprano. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh. Did. did the technician come later? No, rápido, para decir que no. Um, fast. Ajá. Uh -huh. Did the technician come fast to help Mrs. Mendoza? To help Mrs. Mendoza? Y la respuesta sería no, he didn't. Mm -hmm. No, I no? didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Sí, verdad. Sí. Entonces, ya tenemos las tres de estas. ¿Y la otra? Con el señor Torres. El de la pieza quebrada. Porque dice que nunca se la cambió. Did uh, change the broken part. No, es que la pieza quebrada es de la que estábamos haciendo. Este, el de este señor es que el carro y que el mecánico eh, esto fue muy amable, que lo reparó muy rápido Ajá. y que le dio los detalles del incidente. Además de eso le dio un reporte. Ah, pues yo todos los dos conversas, los dos párrafos revolví. <risa> sí. Yo tengo la mitad de uno en cada parte. Ah... Uh... Entonces, este es, las preguntas podrían ser. Vaya, entonces podríamos preguntar. Eh, eh, si el mecánico fue amable. Uh -huh. Entonces sería was was the mechanic no sí was the mechanic um Friendly, amigable. O oh, así como quien, como se parece, was the mechanic. Atent. ¿Lo podemos the poner así como está aquí? ¿Quién? Kain. Was the mechanic came. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta sería. Yes. Yes. He was. Yes, he was. Vaya, una. La segunda. Um... Uh...
No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Nice, then, let's press. Have you finished? Done. Yes, it's your. Okay. Yes, it's your. Okay, ladies, I would like you to share the equations that you have gotten from the two paragraphs. Okay. Okay, paragraphs number one. Paragraph number one, which equations do you have? Okay, question one. Teacher, yeah. Yes. Okay, question one. Did Mr. Mendoza call for this for assistance? The, the answer is yes, she yes, she did. Yes, she did. did Mr. Mendoza called for assistance. Okay, you are talking about the second paragraph, not the first one. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay, uh, but that is okay. That is okay. Okay, good. Number two. Uh, Mr. Mendoza. Oh, this is Torres. Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres. Uh, was the mechanic con? Did the mechanic come? Yes, he he did. Did the mechanic come? Mm -hmm. Es que hicimos una con el verbo to be. Ajá. Was the mechanic to be? Ajá, yes. Yes, he was. Ajá. That is the one that you have to do because the other one, the mechanic is not that he come. Okay. The one who 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 assisted was another person, right? He called for assistance. Okay, he was the assistant, but it is not that he come. Okay, because in this in this case, um what is the verb that you have here in the paragraph? Where is the verb come? Come to help. Okay. Or maybe you can say came to assist. Right? To assist. to assist. Came to assist. In that case, you can manage the information and it can be possible. And number three. Uh, nos falta la dos. Did the mechanic fix the car? Yes. He did. Okay, okay. Y la tres sería, did Mr. Torres have more problems with his car? No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. No, he, he didn't. didn't. He didn't. Okay. He yeah, didn't. because it is Mr. Torres. And what about with Mrs. Mendoza? Did Mrs. Mendoza call for assistance? Yes, she did. Did the technician solve the problem? Yes, yes he did. He did. Mm -hmm. did, the, did the technician come fast to help Mrs. Mendoza? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay, okay. So both of them 
to solve the problems. Okay, guys, now you have finished with, uh, we have practiced a little bit about how to, um, in this case, it is converted from sentences, affirmative statements into yes, no questions. Yes, no questions, okay? Because tomorrow we are going to study the um, another kind of question that is not this one, right? Okay. Right. And now we are going to see. Now that we have practiced this, I want I want you to let's see. Wow. I'm going to jump this. Okay. I want you to observe these exercises, these sentences. From all of them, there is only one correct. Only one correct. The other ones are incorrect. Okay. The first is you need to identify which is the correct. And the others, you need to correct them. <laughs> because all of them, they have a mistake. All of them, they have a mistake. Except one. From one, two, three, four, five, six, Exercises, only one is correct. Read them, analyze them, and then let's try to identify them. John called me yesterday. Is the correct? Okay, yes, that is the correct. Se la vamos diciendo corregidas o, o la escribimos. Yes, okay. No, that one, the correct one, you don't need to write it down. Now, for y la, now. la pregunta es la de abajo, teacher. ¿Cuál pregunta? La pregunta es lo correcto. I'm going to tell you. This is the correct. Todas las demás están incorrectas. Hay que corregirlas. Okay. Ay. Ay, no. Okay. For no había entendido, que no había entendido. Okay. okay. I studied English yesterday. There is a mistake. What is the mistake? Okay. Uh, we have to change the why. Ajá. Uh -huh. For I. Okay. So it means that I have to cross this and uh, change for this. And then I say, I studied English yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did now you travel is... to Spain? Okay. Did you travel to Spain last year? What is the correction that I have to make? Did you travel? No, it did. Ah, okay. So it means that I have to cross this out. And then the, it is going to be in the base form, right? Did you travel to Spain last year? Yes, that is the correction. We saw a good film last week. Okay. So we are going to close this out and then it is we saw so, so, 
a good film last week. Okay, good. Now it is correct. Did he like the film? Okay. Did he like the film? Yes. And the last one. I didn't uh, go to the cinema yesterday. I go. I didn't go, go to the cinema yesterday. Okay, now it is correct. In this one, I have two corrects. Which are them? Did you look? I got two sentences that are correct. The correct is, I finished work, went to the beach, and find a nice place to swim. That is not and correct. Oh, yes. And yes. Okay. And the other one? Lucy and Linda washed my car. Okay. The last two are the correct. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I I I am confused. Uh huh. <laughs> because um, what did did you broke your leg? I think it's correct. Okay. Even though we haven't included GWH, this is equation, okay? This is equation and we use the auxiliary. And this will happen exactly with the way that we have been working with the YESMA equation. It means that if we have the auxiliary, the verb has to be in the base form. So, is this correct? No. Okay, it is not correct. What should be the correct? Well, you broke your leg. No. Did Linda eat the fish? No, the first one, in the first one. Is the first one correct? Is the first question correct? No. What is the mistake? Broke. Broke, why? Same, same. In past, in uh, baseball, break or, or no. Uh, okay, so this is what is not correct. And I need to use the base form, that is break. Break. Teacher. Yes. Pero where it is, no pueden ir en la misma oración tampoco. Como no. Como no. Okay. No, él no es el to be, el otro es. No, 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 no. Este es del lugar. Este no es el to be. Ah, ok. Ok, porque es el lugar. Lleva la doble H ahí, la, la WH. Where, ah, okay. ok. Si fuera el where de este, ahí sí tiene toda la razón. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, yeah. okay so, este es de dónde. Ok. Where did you 
break your leg, the verb has to be in present, in the base form, not present, base form. So this is the correction. What about number two? Is it correct or not? Did Linda eat the fish? No, did Linda eat the fish? It is a question. Yes, it's correct. Uh-huh, this is correct. I don't did my homework yesterday. I didn't my homework. I didn't. Okay, I didn't. I didn't, didn't. do. Aha, uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't do, do my homework. homework. I didn't do my homework. Okay. Next one. Is correct. Uh, he is missing a P, double P. Ah, okay, he double stopped. P. Okay, he stopped me and asked stopped. the time. Okay, now it is correct. I finished work, walk to the beach and find a nice place to swim. Finish is the correct. So it is correct? The sentence, is this correct? No. No. Aha. What happened? What is missing? Finish it. Walk it. Walk it. It's uh -huh. in past all the verbs. Okay. So this is in past. Yes. So? Walked. Walk it. Walk. Walked to the beach and, and found uh -huh. found and found a nice place to swim. Uh, that's it. Lucy and Linda washed my car. Lucy and Linda washed my car. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So this and this one are the correct ones. The rest. Well, we have already done them. Okay, good. And just uh, to finish, keep me. I'm going to stop. Okay. Okay, let me see. We have the last exercise, but now again, this is online and this is individual. These are related to yes, no questions, all of them. There are only 10 exercises. Let's see. You have them there. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Okay. I'm having to as well. Okay, let us try. <laughs> Ay, qué cosa esta.
Ay, Dios. ¿Hay en esta forma de calificarlo, teacher? ¿O solo las compartimos así? Okay, Berta. Yes, we need to practice more vocabulary, verbs. We need to have no me lo verbs. Puedo, entonces no me salen. <laughs> <laughs> Nunca lo hago. So it means that we need to practice more. <laughs> ¿Dónde uh, consigo más vocabulario? In the web. You can uh, surf in the web and you can get vocabulary. You can look for search about regular and irregular past simple verbs. Y ahí le van a aparecer infinidad de verbos. Past simple. Past simple, irregular or an irregular verbs. Y ahí le van a salir. What you have to do is to practice. Sí, porque nunca le atino. Sí, porque casi todas me han salido malas ahí. Sí, porque no, como no sé cómo se escribe. Ok, Berta, lo que sucede es que en el ejercicio tenía que escribir la pregunta, lo mismo que acabamos de estar haciendo. Por ejemplo. No, aquí dice que había que, que hay que cambiar el pasado simple. La pregunta dice. Sí. Sí. Vamos a ver. Entonces, el primero dice levantarte temprano. Pero la pregunta sería, ¿te levantaste temprano? ¿Cómo sería? Can you? Did you? Uh, did you? Did. Because the auxiliary that we are going to be using is did you. Ok. Did you. Ok. Ok. Él sí lo volvió a hacer, right? Oh, no, 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 no lo volví a hacer. You did it. Estaba leyendo el de Max. Ok. Él okay. sí volvió a hacer el ejercicio en she got them all correct. For example. Did she... Es que me, fa... me había comido el have en la de the children's. Did the children's have? Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. Children have. Ok. 
Perfecto. En todas, Berta, vamos a comenzar with the auxiliary tip. Es la pregunta okay. yes, no question. Todas estas son yes, no questions. Ahorita lo estoy haciendo de nuevo, a ver si. Ok. Entonces, porque aquí en la indicación dice, make yes, no yeah. questions. Lo único que la dificultad viene que hay regular and irregular verbs, right? Pero si usted se fija, it doesn't matter el que sean regular or irregular verbs en las preguntas. Porque en las preguntas, los verbos van en su forma base. So the first question has to be, did you get up early? Right? In number two, did she swim? Swim, exacto. No voy a buscar el pasado porque estoy utilizando the auxiliary. Did she swim yesterday? Number three. Did they speak? Did they speak with you? Number four. Did he sing? Did he or did Jack sing in the in the shower? Uh huh. Okay. Number five. Star. Can you repeat number five? Did they star? Okay. Did they? Did they? Pero el verbo es estar final. To choose. Uh -huh. Entonces tendría que ser. Did they stay? No. El verbo está al final en morado, después de tourist. And did they choose? Ajá. Did they oh. choose to stay here or did the tourist? Oh. Okay. Did the tourist okay. stay here? Choose to stay here? Number mm -hmm. six. Did you go? That's it. Did you go to the cinema last week? Number seven. Did you allow? Aha. Uh -huh. Did you allow you to take? Okay. No, did you know? Did Sara? Porque es Sara la que tenemos ahí como pronombre. Did Sara allow you to take her things? And number eight. Allow. Comencemos con did y después busquemos el sujeto. Did it. Ajá. Take. Ajá. Y de ahí sigue lo que está ahí. Did it take a lot of time to get there? Number nine. Did, did they have. Or, como aquí nos pone the children, es que ese vamos a utilizar. Did. The children, the children have lunch at school. And finally, we have the last one. Uh, Did you Seria, did I do? No, 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 no. Seria el, el you. Did you do? That's it. Did you do your homework? No te okay. salga. No, a ver si hoy sí. Y que siempre se sale. No, mire, siempre me salió malo. ¿Por qué? No, me salió malo. Otra vez. <risa> maybe, maybe there is one letter, right, that might be run. Pero todos, todos, todos van a comenzar con did. Ah, ya empecé a cambiar. Ok, ok. Did you... Puede revisar el ejercicio de Elsie ahí en la picture. Ahí en la picture, Did ahí you... están todas. Así es como deben quedar todas, ¿ok? Espérame. Good. Did you... Get up? Ok, ¿el de quién dice? De Elsie. Ahí en las pictures. Uh, Ahí las tiene ya todas correctas. For you to compare. Mateo, right? Maximiliano, Elsa. El de Elsa. Yes. She got okay. them all correct. Okay. Ella puede mucho, yo no. 
<laughs> <laughs> it is just for you to see the examples, right? Just that. Yeah. Okay, yes. guys. So we are going to stop here. Let me look just for the attendance again. And be ready to answer, please. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Aunque no me salen, pero aquí estoy. That's it. That is the most important aspect. Okay. Ilsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here, teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osval okay. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Wilfredo Present. Renderos. Ok. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexis Mendoza García. In Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok, guys. So that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for participating and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.